This is Michael McVeigh from the Educational Media and Technology Program of Eastern Michigan University's Teacher Education Department. I would like to spend a few minutes talking about distance learning. Now this is a term that's in wide use today. Educators also refer to it as distance education and in some settings distributed education. Advances in information and communication technology are changing the manner in which instructors have traditionally conducted distance learning. And these changes are providing many transformational possibilities for all levels of education. With excellent new online applications and tools, teachers are able to create astounding online learning experiences for their students. But first, let's talk about the origins of distance learning. Distance learning has been available in one form or another for hundreds of years. One of the earliest examples of distance learning occurred in England in the 1840s. The Pittman Company offered training in shorthand through a series of lessons mailed to students across the country. In hindsight, this was very much a one-way, non-interactive approach to distance learning. One of the most famous recent examples, modern examples of distance learning, took place in Australia. Beginning in 1951, the School of the Air officially opened to broadcast, by radio, lessons to the children of the outback, beginning with one-way transmissions. Coordinators soon added a question period to follow the broadcasts. Interactivity, even in the beginning stages of technology-enhanced distance learning, was highly valued. Today, many institutions of higher education, both public and private, are making use of distance learning to broaden the reach and scope of their particular curricula. Of course, it is very important to students who participate in distance learning that they are self-motivated and able to work independently. But teachers also have a particularly vital role to play in the process of distance learning and its overall evolution. Distance learning programs are experiencing a boom of sorts lately with the advent of the Internet and the ability to transmit increasingly large audio and video files over increasingly available and accessible bandwidth. For that reason, researchers view many of the tools and affordances of modern distance learning as supplements to or extensions of traditional face-to-face -face learning experiences. One of the most basic features of face-to-face -face learning for the student is the ability to listen to and interact with the instructor. Distance learning can replicate the primary experience of listening to an instructor using audio files downloaded and played on a computer or portable listening device. Advances to this technology also enable the student to view the instructor and available visual aids on convenient handheld devices. The availability of such files leads to another feature of distance learning, the ability to shift the learning experience out of the classroom and into a different time and place. This distribution of the learning experience is known variously as phase-shifted learning or asynchronous learning and any-place, anytime learning. The new tools that are available allow instructors to modify their pedagogy Instructors can now guide students to the pedagogical experience and learning environment that is most suited to the learning style of the student. Such an explicit design of the learning experience, one that the instructor can tailor directly to the learning style of the student, is a great challenge to the instructional design experts and is still the goal of many creative instructors. The new tools can also allow instructors to modify materials to accommodate physical impairments or disabilities. For example, students could use a text reading software to read and review class notes, and students with visual impairments can use the adaptive technologies to increase or improve the visual presentation of materials. One way of organizing the many tools and applications available to instructors creating online learning experiences is to use a course management system, sometimes known as a CMS. Some of the most popular ones these days are Blackboard, Moodle, WebCT, Angel, and there are others. Some of the tools that these course management systems use include discussion lists, which are text-based opportunities for students to respond to questions, threaded discussions, in which students may respond to each other in the class, synchronous chats, sometimes known as Internet Relay Chats, or IRC,
allow multiple participants in the course to enter a text-based environment to correspond with each other and the instructor. There are also many presentation tools that can be used as well. There are many issues related to distance learning that need to be discussed and thought through by teachers in this course. Finally, it is my hope that students taking this introduction to developing an online learning experience will consider strongly the degree to which we engage students more thoroughly in an online learning environment. And toward that end, it is my hope that we can engage in some conversations about collaboration and how important it is to get students working in collaborative teams to get them more thoroughly engaged with the material at hand.